Good morning, YouTube. Today I'm going to be reinstalling the rearview mirror of my 1997 Ford Expedition. It's a relatively easy fix, and uh, so let's see what I'm working with here. So this week, I let the vehicle sit in the sun too long, and uh, this is what I came out to. I've already cleaned up the area a little bit, as you can tell where it goes up here. There's no longer residual residue. rear view mirror is attached by this little anchor guy here this part beveled edge goes against the glass there's still a minute amount of residual old adhesive but I've used a razor blade and cleaned it up and that's the best I've gotten so ensure that when you reinstall it and reattach it to the glass you put it back on in the exact position that it was before. So that side's against the glass and your bevels are facing the direction they're supposed to. And if yours is wedge shaped, which mine appears to be a smidge, then please make sure you don't turn it upside down. <laughs> Use this opportunity to really give the interior of your car uh, windshield a good, good cleaning. You don't have the mirror in the way, so you can really get a full wipe across the entire windshield. What I've done here is put up some blue painter's tape uh, in that area there. And I'll explain that little piece right there in a second. The reason the blue painter's tape is up here, one, I don't want any adhesive left behind, so... I'm using a, uh, a, a light adhesive uh, 3M tape product. And m not all vehicles, but this one's equipped with all this electrical sensor stuff that clips to the bottom of the mirror. So um, this says put everything against the mirror so it, it helps me place the mirror in the right spot. So my mirror is going to sit up here again like this. If you were so inclined, you could adjust the location of your mirror. I've been toying with the idea of moving it over a smidge and maybe up an inch or two, um, as I like the way uh, it, it sits there. It reduces a bit of the blind spot behind my vehicle. So that winds up being a personal choice. Recommendation is put it exactly back in the spot the factory set it. Blue painter's tape is, is on the outside of the mirror, of the window. And the reason is to help me know where I'm going to place this anchor. Now, um, one recommendation is to use a magic marker and draw on the outside. <laughs> I couldn't find a magic marker for the life of me. A ballpoint pens don't work. So I just ripped off a strip of blue painter's tape and stuck it to the outside of the window. It really helps give you a visual guide of where to place your anchor. There are many products out there that are for reattaching your rear view mirror. I went to AutoZone and said, hey, my mirror fell off. They knew exactly what to give me. Uh, this is their only option that uh, they had in my store, so uh, I wasn't able to choose another option. So this stuff here is, uh, is what I'm going to use to reattach my mirror. It's a two-step process. On the back, we've got the instructions. If you want to pause the video here, you can definitely take a look at this. Uh, we've already prepared everything. Um, and you'll notice right there, it says, uh, mark the original position of the mounting button, I call it the anchor, on the outside of the windshield with a marker or masking tape. So, once it said masking tape, I was able to uh, then say, oh, okay, good, I don't absolutely need my black marker I can't find. So, let's move on to step uh, two, the activator. This product comes with a little 
tooth bit of activator with a foam tipped cap and a tube of adhesive. Now I've tore into it already so hopefully I don't drop this between the seats. You'll notice inside here it has, if I can focus it, a ability to pierce the foil top of the tube of activator and that will then allow the saturation of this little foam cap. Yes, these are one-time use only things, so if you have to do this to more than one vehicle, line them up and, uh, and then you'll be able to do this. Uh, also just thought this is a rather inexpensive fix. Um, when I went there and purchased this from the store, uh, it was less than six dollars with tax. I'm going to do my level best to take this in one shot. Now, the blue foam at the end became, or yeah, yeah, the blue, the foam at the end became blue, and uh, so it says the instructions say to apply it to both here and the place I'm going to anchor it at the windshield. Now, it's blue, so it's supposed to be able to just and I'm using this liberally. Focus. This stuff's supposed to be able to clean up later, and it'll be clear when it's dry. Wait for approximately five minutes. The next step is to take this adhesive, and it says to put one drop right there in the center. I'm putting a liberal drop. Next, take it. See, it's a little thick. Move it up to your location and attach it. And then hold it for one minute. After it's been a minute, it says to wait at least 15 minutes before you, you reattach the mirror. Many of these rear view mirrors have an allen wrench bolt on the back to lock them in place when they attach to the anchor this one doesn't has some sort of spring bracket well if yours has the allen key bolt the allen wrench bolt then make sure you loosen it and tighten it when it's back in place. And that does it. Rear view mirror is back in place. It's a pretty easy fix and I hope that this took a lot of the mystery out of it so that if you're faced with this you don't wind up having to go to the take it to a shop spending nearly a hundred bucks for a fix that is less than ten dollars in a little bit of your time.